There are also reports saying that the novel coronavirus is man-made. What do you think of it? Has anyone mastered such a technology in the world? In fact, there are many reports in academic journals. From my personal understanding of virology, there is no evidence to prove that the virus has artificial or synthetic origins. That scientists suspect that the human mind operates on a simple binary go no go system, as do all digital computers. Therefore, once it superimposes a three dimensional matrix over holographic two dimensional form, it can completely process it using its fundamental binary system, just as any computer made by the、uh, hand of man can process volumes of data and make. Various comparisons between the data and information stored in its digital memory. Our minds operate in the same way, perceiving by comparison only. Bentov states the proposition this way: Our whole reality is constructed by constantly making such comparisons. Whenever we perceive something, we always perceive differences only. In states of expanded consciousness, the right. Hemisphere of the human brain, in its holistic, non-linear, and non-verbal mode of functioning, acts as the primary matrix or receptor for this holographic input. Wait, you're blowing my mind at this moment. So you're saying, are you saying your attempt to understand the fundamental operations of nature leads you to a set of equations that are indistinguishable from the equations that drive? Search engines and browsers on yeah, our computers. That is correct. So, the... wait, wait. I'm still wait. I have to just be silent for a minute here. <laughs> so you're saying, as you dig deeper, you find computer code writ in the fabric of the cosmos into the equations that we want to use to describe the cosmos. Yes, computer code. Computer code, strings of bits of ones and zeros. It's not just sort of resembles computer code. You're saying it is computer code. It's not even just is computer code. It's a special kind of computer code that was invented by a scientist named Claude Shannon in the 1940s. That's what we find very, very deeply inside the equations that occur in string theory, and in general in systems that we say are supersymmetric. Okay, <laughs> and it's even more bizarre than that because when you then try to understand these pictures, you find out that buried in them are computer codes, just like the type that you find in a browser when you go surf the web. And so I'm left with the puzzle of trying to figure out whether I live in the matrix or not. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Carol Rosen. In 1974. After being a sixth-grade school teacher, I was introduced to the late Dr. Werner von Braun in the U.S., the father of rocketry. And we have to prevent the weaponization of space because there is a lie being told to everyone that the weaponization of space is now first being based upon the evil empire, the Russians. There are many enemies, he said, against whom we're going to build this space-based weapon system. The first of whom was the Russians, which was existing at that time. Then there would be terrorists. Then there would be third-world countries. Now we call them rogue nations or nations of concern. Then there would be asteroids. And then he would repeat to me over and over, and the last card, the last card, the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat. He talked about suitcase bombs. He talked about chemical, viral, bacterial, bat, biological warfare that these space-based weapons would never protect us against. Now, I'm going to casually mention to you something that's very scary indeed. Complete takeover of this planet. We're killing off of five, six to seven eighths of the world's population. And tell you what the alien agenda is. Why is they're carrying germs and diseases and bacterium? In and on them, they're deadly to us. If I were making policy, I, I'd quarantine them all. Because, because how do we not know that some of our diseases, like AIDS, Ebola, 
uh, hantavirus and a few of these other weird designer diseases, as I call them, are not made from the cadavers of some of these aliens as a biological weapon to use against the people. Besides, some scientists believe that to synthesize a virus requires extraordinary intelligence and workload. So I have never believed that we humans would have the capability at this time to create such a virus. Thank you.